Hey guys, this is Lifepreneur. This is Robert here from Lifepreneur, uh, Living Life. Guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, touch base with you here. I had a great conversation uh, in, uh, with, a, with somebody that I met um, while in transit. Uh, I take the transit system, which is a, a little bit of a long story, but uh, that's going to be another blog in itself. Um, but I had a great conversation with somebody, and uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, just business, and, and uh, she works for an MLM company uh, in the administration part, which is a really uh, great conversation. Um, I used to do MLM a while back. Uh, it wasn't really successful because of the fact that of the model and how you build it. And not everybody is designed to be the world's greatest salesperson um, and hyping people up. Uh, some people are great for them. Um, I'm, I'm of, uh, of another uh, breed. I'd rather just attract people online and, and only deal with people that have a buy-in, not try to sit there and try to attract everybody and, and think your deal is for everybody. Um, but anyways, that being said, uh, the conversation that we had, uh, part of it was, uh, you know, these people that go around and they are claiming to becoming, you know, being very, very successful or trying to keep up with the Joneses. And this is also including people that are in the corporate world or in the job world. Um, if you can see behind me here, the working class and the wealthy, two distinct different groups. Now, um, the working class, uh, you know, they are all about keeping up with the Joneses. Um, now, this is these are principles that the people need to know. If you want to become truly successful, uh, you have to be real and authentic, and you have to be honest with yourself. You know, if you're the working class and you're making anywhere from eighty to ninety thousand dollars a year, okay. Okay. One of the things that I noticed is that people like that of that they try to live these um, lavish lifestyles where they go out and get themselves a BMW, a BMW, a car that is worth I don't know forty to fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Or they see them. You see them have like a Escalade or or whatever. And, and we're talking people that even make like an excess of may, maybe a hundred thousand dollars a year. And they get these fancy cars. Uh, why? You know why? Are you, are, who are you trying to impress? Why get a why get a BMW when you can get a reliable car? You know, um, why get a, a huge eighty screen, eighty foot, I don't know, eighty inch flat screen TV when you can get yourself a forty inch uh, inch TV? Um, you know, these are things. These are things that people need to understand because a lot of people, when they get caught up in lifestyle, they try to they live over their means instead of living below their means. Now, one of the greatest coaches that I've ever had uh, told me a long time ago: in order to create wealth in your life, you have to think totally different than the working class. One of the things that you need to do is you need to live below your means and uh, and create more income, live below your means, and then create uh, savings and everything else and have income, disposable income at your fingertips for a rainy day. Most people don't even have that chance because they're keeping up with all the fancy cars, the fancy toys and everything else and they don't have disposable income for that rainy day because they're keeping up with the Joneses. Whereas the wealthy people, they totally think different in everything they do. They, they don't look at all the fancy stuff uh, and uh, unless they have lots of money for it and they can justify it, but they don't look at all the fancy stuff. They get what's reliable and what, uh, what they can use. So, uh, and also too, if a, if a wealthy person is, is making like well over a million dollars a year, okay, million dollars plus a year, uh, a car that's forty to fifty thousand dollars, Let's just say fifty to sixty thousand dollars is like affording, like the, it's proportionate. It's like affording. It's like it's like going. Uh, it's like going somewhere and uh, paying five thousand dollars for a car uh, if you're making eighty to ninety thousand. See, so it has to be proportionate to what you're making. If you are buying a car and and it's taking up most of your income for the year, that's a problem. That's keeping up with the Joneses. If you're making anywhere from eighty to ninety thousand dollars, you should not be buying yourself a forty to fifty thousand dollar car. You should be buying something that's reliable. If you're making a million plus, yeah, by all means, get yourself the BMW, get yourself the 
the Mercedes or or those uh, fancy cars. Anyways, I just wanted to leave that with you. That was just a, a thought that I had um, about being real and being authentic and being honest with yourself. Um, I hopefully that makes sense. I'm not deterring you for you know having lifestyle, but it has to be proportionate to what you're making, and uh, and you gotta definitely not be sitting here worrying about keeping up with the Joneses. You have to live below your means and increase that income circle so that you can achieve and you can afford some of the cool things in life. But until then, you know, be, be, uh, be, uh, um, be, be smart with your money. Anyways, guys, if you got anything out of that, please put your comments down below. There's some links down below if you want to have the, uh, the, you know, the blueprint to success, business success. Uh, down below there's a link in there in, in the YouTube video. There's also uh, a link if you see this uh, uh, post on Facebook, there's a link on the Facebook uh, post as well. Um, go check out my my website as well, livelife-preneur.com. And guys, we'll see you on the other side. Great talking to you and have yourself a great day.